awesome so in this video we are gonna see how you can create a retargeting audience for your remarketing advertisements all right so there is no rocket science in that it's a simple website click advertisement but while you are targeting previously what you used to do is you were uh, targeting the locations and you were categorizing the demographics and everything but for this what you need to do is you have to create a custom audience all right you click on this custom audience so this is one way or you can go to your facebook pixel tools and pixels all right into your ads manager and you can click on create conversion so if you click on this create conversion over here all right oh, i'm so sorry it's not create conversion it's create audience all right so if you click on create audience you will have this kind of phase all right or if you click on this one that is create a custom audience then you will have this wherein you will have to click on website traffic and once again the same so check this out both are the same ones all right so either which way is you create it would be creating your custom audience that is your retargeting list or your retargeting audience or remarketing audience whatever name you give right so now what we need to do is you'll click on this website traffic but before that in our previous videos we have already seen that the pixel code has been installed on our facebook all right on our website all right so we have already installed our facebook pixel code on our website in the header.php or by using the plugin which we have done as conversion and remarketing plugin if you have still have it done you can just click on this gear box and you can click on view pixel code and you can copy this code in your header segment which is like between head and this closing head right so assuming you have already um, added and pasted your Facebook pixel code now we'll look into creating the audience so in my website traffic I have a couple of options like this so what I need to do is let's say first option if I'm selecting anyone who visits your website so I want to retarget all my audience who are visiting my website which website I'll just enter the domain let's say the best bargain dot in and that's it I would be creating an audience wherein if a visitor is visiting my website in the last 30 days then they would be included in my targeting list all right so i'll just click on audience name as uh, last 30 days let's say demo last 30 days and i'll say create audience <laughs> and that's it my audience has been created now this is the audience which i am targeting all right this is the audience which i am targeting now once again let's go into this I'll close this and I'll click on create new audience. I'll say website traffic. And if I want to target once again, that is people who visit specific web pages. If I'm selecting people who uh, visit specific web pages, then I can say URL, which equals, let's suppose URL, which equals, um, let's go to the blog section. And if I'm saying this is the page, which is been visited then second one is let's say url keywords is another page which is something like the sample page so let's just select one sample page as well so i can add any number of pages all right i can add any number of pages over here so let's say this is also my page all right so i'm saying url equals this or this all right then i want them to be added in my retargeting list so this is how you use the second one and make sure in this 30 days you can at max go to 180 days so the number of days people will remain in your audience after they have visited your website so people will be removed from your audience after the set time period so let's suppose today let's suppose today one visitor is visiting my page all right and if he is into this audience just because he is visited my page he would be fallen into my advertisement for this one so he'll be he'll keep on seeing my advertisement because he's into my retargeted audience custom audience and from this point onwards if today is the first day and for the next 30 days he would be able to see my advertisement because i'm retargeting him but from that 30 day onwards if he has not visited my website once again he won't be seeing any advertisement all right so this is the period of time at max we can have 180 days mentioned over here so this is how you will use this people who visit specific web pages now let's suppose the third one people who visit specific web pages but not others let's just remove this all right 
so let's suppose I have a subscription form on this page so let's suppose this is my subscription form wherein people are entering their email address all right this is the subscription form so I want to track all the people or I want to target all the people who are visiting this page but they are not filling out this form so how will I retarget them so what for that what I'll do is I'll copy this link all right and I'll go over here so people who are visiting this page all right so that is URL contains or, or URL equals this particular URL so people who are visiting this page but not my another page which would be the next page so that would be my thank you page so let's suppose that page is a thank you page which I would be having so let's say this is the thank you page all right this is the thank you page so people who are visiting this page but not visiting this page so what will happen is all the people who are visiting my subscription form but they are not filling out the form and not getting onto the thank you page all those people within the last 30 days would be shown my advertisement which I create using this custom audience all right so this is how you will be using this particular option now let's suppose I have this one people who haven't visited in a certain amount of time then this is something wherein include people who have visited your website in the last 180 days but they haven't come back all right but they haven't come back and they would be falling inside this 30 days period as well all right so this is how you will be used but most of the time the retargeting audience campaigns are done with this third option because most of the time you will be capturing leads which is the king which is the main part of digital marketing all right so you would be tracking one information wherein you will have something on one page and then you would be tracking that information whether the visitor is doing some activity and going to the next page or not all right so maybe it might be just a lead generation form or simply just a purchase order so you might be installing this pixel on your purchase order page so if people are on the payment option and if they are not filling out the option and not going to the thank you page wherein they will actually place the order you can track this by this particular custom audience and you can retarget them by using your campaign all right so this is how you will use this custom audience and this is your retargeting audience so hope you enjoyed this video see you in the next one till then take care bye bye